Okay. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to do a check to see if exhaust gas is coming, if the head gas is blown. I believe it's a little weak, so I'm going to find out today about this tester online. Uh, I think it was 30 something bucks. I think I'm supposed to fill the liquid to here. Then I'm supposed to make sure that the water is not getting to that, it's not getting to this. And I'm supposed to suck the fumes from out of there into here. And if it turns yellow, but well, first of all, I got to get the engine warmed up which ain't gonna take long. These damn North Star, they put off a lot of heat. I mean, you touch this hose here, it's already hot. This is the uh, bleeder tube. It goes through here, comes out here. I mean, the funny thing is, it's, I don't know, it's all North Star like this, but as soon as you crank it up, it do not take long for that hose to get hot. All right, guys, I'm starting to see smoke come out of the engine. So let's open this up. Hey, it's got a lid on it. Wonder what it smells like. Didn't really have a smell. All right, we're up to that line. I guess I better cover this up first. And I want to cover this up next. And push this down. This is supposed to go in like that. And we come over to the car. Oh. I'm supposed to make sure water ain't touching and water's coming up. So I gotta get some of the water out. Say, get a turkey base if you have one. Okay, they clean. They don't want water in this thing right here. So I had to cut the engine off.
guys, it ain't turning yellow. It's not turning yellow, so I'm quite sure that was enough to make it turn yellow, and it ain't turning yellow. Now, if I crank it up, it's going to start shooting out water. doesn't have a blown head gasket or this stuff does not work. I mean, that should have been enough time for it to um, find out. Hi guys, Black here. All right, you see me did the tester to make sure there's no coolant, I mean exhaust getting into my cooler. All right, this engine is not running hot anymore. But I'm going to tell you guys what's messing a lot of people up. Let me cut this thing off so you can hear me. All right, the problem is with this North Star is this. Some time ago, I was reading somewhere and it spoke about <clears throat> whenever the water pump sits higher than, well, almost as high as radiator, you have a chance of getting air into the system. Calac decided to try to cut you a break by putting this little vent tube that runs over to here and it's supposed to vent out some air, but it doesn't vent out all the air. Also, if you have, okay, like, let me, let me just tell you this right here. A few weeks ago, I had the filter on my engine. The filter stopped up, the engine ran hot, okay? I took the filter off, got rid of it because it's like the third time the car ran high from that. So I got rid of the filter and I put water in the engine and the engine kept pumping the water out. In other words, I drive a few miles and it will start to run hot again. And I couldn't figure out why. I'm thinking, oh well, I guess the head gasket is finally blown, right? I get it home, I let the engine cool off. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try one last time to put water in this thing. So I put water in it. As I was putting water in, I decided to take this hose off and run it into an empty jug. In other words, bleeding it out. When you have a constant flow of water without any foam, and that's a good indication. If you're trying to bleed your Cadillac and foam is coming out, the engine is too hot. You need to let the engine cool off. Well, apparently, 
A few years ago, when I paid somebody $805 to put a water pump on here, it didn't need a water pump. They charged me that $805 as a way of making money off me. All the car needed was to be bled. You cannot bleed a North Star when it's hot. It won't allow you to bleed it when it's hot. The reason for that is this. The water pump is designed to pump water, not steam. When this engine is hot, it can't pump water. It pumps steam. So you have to let this engine cool completely down and then fill it up with water, take this tube off and run the water into a jug until the water comes out constant and without any kind of foam. At that point, you can put it back to here. Don't fill it all the way up, but fill it back up and it's not gonna run hot anymore. I haven't had any more problems with this thing running hot since I let it cool completely down and then bled it. Something else. I read something about this North Star runs higher pressure than most cars. Something like, I forgot what the pressure is, but it runs pretty damn high. So this engine cannot run with the radiator cap off. It will overheat. So why does it overheat? You know how they say when you, when you boil water, it burns, I mean, it boils at what, 212 degrees, but if you pressurize it, it'll boil, I mean, it won't boil until you get to a higher temperature. Well, this is how Cadillac keeps this engine from running hot. Well, to keep the engine from boiling is they run at a very high pressure. So even when the system is working good, if you run it with the radiator cap off, the engine is gonna overheat because the water's gonna start boil boiling is going to create steam the water pump can't pump steam so the engine will run hot so guys all these people i'm not saying every calac just need bleed i'm just saying a lot of these calacs people think they have blown head gaskets they don't have blown head gasket you just need to bleed the damn thing when it's cold you know, I'm not gonna make a long video. There's gonna be people who are not gonna believe what I want to, what I'm saying. They're gonna holler about the, the head bolts and they're gonna talk about the cracked heads and the North Star just no good. You have people who just want to believe what they want to believe. And most of those people don't even own Calax, never even own the Calax. They never driven the Calax, North Star anyway. But this is the whole reason why I bought this car. I wanted to find out is it does the car actually overheat or is it the owners? Guys, so far with this engine, it's the owner. So, um, like I said, the car is running good. Uh, I rode around all day yesterday with the air conditioner on. It never ran hot. Um, so, and like I said, you're seeing from the tester, it's not turning yellow. So it's not, it's not exhaust coming out the um, cooling system. So I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna keep driving it, keep enjoying it, and I'll let you guys know, you know, what happens next.